What's up, guys? It's Amai from the Amai Cartel. Welcome back to another episode of Hero vs. Villains Live. And, uh, yeah, I made a freaking mistake that I have made in the past. I just started talking and I completely forgot that I, I, I didn't even press the record button. But anyways, in this episode, I want to talk about what I want to see in the next Star Wars Battlefront game, if we actually do get one. Uh, I do want to point out that the only reason why I'm going to be very, very rude towards this game is because, obviously, I want it to improve, okay? It's not because I hate Battlefront, because I really don't. I actually like this game. I think this game is very, very good for casual players. Like, for example, my sister told me that she wants this game. And this game will be perfect for my sister, because my sister is mainly just a casual gamer. You know, she's not a hardcore gamer like me. And I'm going to run, because I don't want Vader to kill me. Help! Leia! Save me! Oh my god! Alright, but anyways, um, yeah, you know, this is a very casual game, but... You know, just because it's a casual game, like, it's not gonna get a fucking pass from me, okay? Because the reality is that this game fucking, it's, it's fucking terrible, alright? It sucks. It has no campaign, no good co-op. So, let's, let's stop talking about the bat, and let's, let me actually finally, you know, say my thoughts. What does the next Battlefront need, okay? What am I looking forward to in the next Star Wars Battlefront game? Now, of course, I do want to let you guys know that on the previous episode, I talked about the season pass, and why you guys should not get the season pass so please check out that episode i'm tr trust me it will save you fifty dollars uh but anyways let's talk about what i want what i'm looking forward to in the next battlefront starting with the number one thing okay it needs to have a damn campaign okay okay dice like stop being so lazy stop being such money whores because that's what you guys are you guys are money whores and you know what if you guys are going to be money whores then at least do it in a good business type of way okay because if you have a business and then you release a product over and over and over again because it's making you good money, then the product should be good. But Battlefront is not a good product. Battlefront is a terrible product when it comes to when it comes down to the actual first person shooter fan, okay? If you're a first person shooter fan and you're someone that plays first person shooters or shooters in general very, very frequently, you're really disappointed with Battlefront. Okay, so yeah, Battlefront needs to have a damn campaign, okay? I don't care if it's Four hours. It just needs to have a campaign. Oh, and by the way, if it's four hours, it better be fucking good, okay? It needs to have a good co-op game mode. What it needs to have, it's, it, it needs to have that freaking game mode that I used to play in... Oh, shit. I think Vader's here. Uh, but yeah, it needs to have that game mode that I used to play in Star Wars Battlefront 2 Renegade Squadron for the f PSP, okay? Keep in mind that the PSP is something that has less processing power than the PlayStation 4. But yeah, it needs to have that game mode where you can actually go against the computer in an actual match. For example, you against the computer in a supremacy match. You're going against 12 bots or whatever, and you and it's you and 12 other bots in your team. That's what this game needs co-op-wise. And on top of all that, it needs a co-op game mode that actually has replay value, unlike those freaking missions and stuff, okay? The co-op game modes in this game just feel freaking straight up lazy. Let's talk about the multiplayer now. All right, and I'm going to go ham on the multiplayer, okay? One thing that the multiplayer needs is freaking prestigious. I'm level 55 in Battlefront, and I have nothing to strive for. The only reason why I play this game is because it's fun, and I want to have 100 episodes of Hero vs. Villains Live. That's the only reason why I'm playing this game. And I, 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 I was really, really thinking about this. I think that after I reach 100 episodes for Hero vs. Villains Live, I'm just going to stop playing the game in general. Why? Because... Like, I'm not going to get the season pass, because it's just going to be a waste of money. So, in a way, you know, there really isn't any way to play this game. I, I do have fun with it, okay? I have fun playing Hero vs. Villains Live, but is it worth it, right? Because I could be investing the time that I'm playing Hero vs. Villains Live, you know, reading a book, or, uh, I don't know, like, working on Photoshop stuff, you know, on improving my channel, all of that good stuff, okay? So, yeah, um, the next freaking Star Wars Battlefront game needs to have a really good multiplayer, and it needs to have prestigious, okay? I want to see at least 10 prestigious, okay? Because prestigious is what keeps people from playing the shooter games. I mean, why do people play Call of Duty? Because they want to reach the 10th prestige. People stop playing Call of Duty after they reach the 10th prestige. I mean, look at me in Advanced Warfare. I played Advanced Warfare until I reached the last prestige, and after I reached the last prestige within three weeks, I just stopped playing the game. Why? Because, well, I reached the final level. What else is there to do? Okay, that's exactly how I feel in Battlefronts. Like, I already reached level 55. Like, what else do you want me to do in here? Because there really isn't anything I can do here, okay? That's just a fact. Um, so, yeah, I want prestiges. I want more maps. I want at least 15 maps for the actual casual game modes 
and at least eight maps for the big game mode. I'm talking about Walker Soul, I'm talking about Supremacy and all of that good stuff. And of course, I do want to see, you know, actually actual weapons that make a difference, okay? Like, for example, in a way, you know, every weapon in this game, it, you know, they kind of have their role to play. Like, for example, the three round burst pistol, it's really, really good at close ranges, pretty okay at medium ranges. Uh, the machine guns, you know, they're pretty okay at long ranges, but they kind of suck at, uh, you know, short ranges, mainly because, you know, of the r slow freaking damage that they do. But yeah, I just want more weapons, because I feel like 11 weapons just really doesn't cut it for me. And on top of all that, keep in mind that mainly all of the weapons in this game just do the same thing. Okay, so in a way, you, you, all of the weapons are the same. Like, you're not really getting anything unique, okay? I want to see more equipment. And, you know, mainly what I just want to see is, you know, things that keep me coming back to the game, okay? So, in Call of Duty, you know, you do have prestigious, but on top of all that, in Call of Duty, you have titles, and you have emblems that you can that you can have. You have camos for your weapons, you have attachments for your weapons. You know, you have things to strive for, like getting the gold camo on this specific weapon, or getting this title that means that you have won over 500 matches in this game mode. You know, I want to see stuff that brings me back to the multiplayer, okay? So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's all I want to see in the next Battlefront game. Uh, I could, you know, make a super in-depth video, but this is just basic stuff that a really good shooter game needs to have. And, you know, this is something that the game is lacking. There really is no reason for me to go back to Battlefront, like I said. Okay? And in the next Battlefront, I want the game to have a lot of reasons, you know, for me to go back to the game. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to drop a like. Feel free to subscribe to join the Sabah Cartel. And I'll be seeing you guys on the next episode of Star Wars Battlefront Hero vs. Villains Live. Peace.